Hi everybody and welcome to our nighttime prayers. I'll start with a quote from Julian of Norwich. It goes like this. Thou shalt not be overcome. It was clearly said. He said not, thou shalt not be tempted. Thou shalt not be travailed. Thou shalt not be diseased. But he said, thou shalt not be overcome. And indeed, we will not be overcome. Let's pray. Gracious and sustaining Lord, tonight we rest on the wonder and the comfort of that promise. We will not be overcome. Lord, sometimes life is so frightening. We look at the circumstances around us. We're anxious, we're tired, scared. We worry about family and friends. We might not be getting out like we used to and not seeing the people that we would want to see. We might feel alone. We might feel fed up and frustrated. Lord, you know how each and every one of us feel this night. We watch the news. We're interested, but we're also anxious. We give you thanks for a vaccine, but we're still anxious as to the way forward. We're confused about decisions that have been made to protect us. There seems to be so much political upheaval. We pray, Lord, for a consensus as to a way forward. When we think of those who are so affected financially, emotionally by this lockdown that we're in. We think of those whose lives feel empty. Those who are worried about their work, those who fear losing everything. Those who feel undervalued those who feel they lack love, those for whom home is not a safe place. Father, we pray that you would intervene and that you would just open your arms out wide for people to run and embrace. And we know, Lord, that you're always open and you relentlessly search for the lost. We know, Lord, that in this day and age, it's almost old fashioned to hold a belief in you. And yet your arms are open wide. And there are so many whose hearts and ears are just closed to your whisper and your prompting. May your grace and your mercy be evident. And may that be evident through us, through our lives. Prompt us, stir us in the decisions that we have to make, the people we have to speak to. May we keep on shining your light. May we keep on shining away away into your arms. And so Lord, we think of those whose life circumstances have been so tough, for those feeling battered and bruised, for those exhausted, for those terrified, for those at home, for those in hospital, for those in hospice. And we remember, Lord, the power of your son, Jesus, 
who walked the fells of horror and death and was not overcome. And we pray that we too will not be overcome, even by fears, we will not be overcome. Even by disappointments, we will not be overcome. Let us turn to you in confidence every day and rest in your confidence in us each night. Give us strength, give us space for our souls to grow towards you more and more. And we pray this night you would help us rest well so that tomorrow, God willing, we will wake again to serve and love you more. Amen. Amen. So good night, everybody. God bless and take care.